Oof. Hey guys, what's happening? Um, just some quick housekeeping. This is a blanket wrapped around me because it is damn near 59 degrees down here in Georgia and it's gone into my apartment and it's freezing and even though we turned the heat up, I'm at the window, so it is cold. And y'all pissed up Mother Nature when y'all came back outside. She's like, let me give y'all some snowstorms. And with Georgia, the south, it gets the back end where it just get the wind chills and y'all get the snow on the east coast. It's just, it's just a mess. It's a mess. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos and commenting. I always um, heart them in my reply. It really means a lot. Um, if y'all can't see it, I got my purple eyeshadow on, and it's just the lighting in here. I'm only using my desk lighting. Um, my ring light comes in. I finally gave in and bought one plus a mask. It comes in next week, I think. And basically, I'm going to be doing that when it comes to shooting my videos. Hopefully, I can do it while I'm sitting down in my chair. Um, yeah, so if you guys ever want some tutorials, put me down, put it down in the comments, y'all. I'm so sorry, y'all. I just had the energy to actually record today. I went out for a walk this morning. My ass was out of this house at 9.30. That's my laptop. My ass was out of this house at 9.30, did a full three-mile walk, and I took a shower, I but didn't let my... Uh, I can't make words, y'all. I'm sorry. I made... um. I made progress with my Spanish today because I was behind. Because Friday, I just was not in a mood. And then the whole weekend was just the pressing of all the celebrity deaths. It was just like, oh, man. But yeah, I'm back. I'm here. Let's talk insecure, okay? This is a good-ass episode, okay? I already knew it was going to be it. So let's just get into, like, the, the lighter stuff. So Kendola, a.k.a. Canola Oil, who I'm not calling her from now on, decides to show up. I'm sorry, y'all, if I got a notification. She decides to show up at the block party after Issa literally has been trying to get a cop out of her for God knows how long. And basically, she's like, hey, where have you been? I didn't think you are going to come since you're MIA. And, Kendall, and Canola was like, oh, Lawrence didn't tell you? We broke up. I'm like, how would she know? And how does that involve her and y'all's business? And literally, I'm mad at Issa for not you know, confront her in a moment. I know she had to be professional with all that, but you could confront her about it. Like, why does that have to do with our business? And Condola, she had that look of egg on her face. You literally made this girl suffer because you got involved with her ex-boyfriend. He was still in love with her. She had no idea. She clearly not thinking about him at the moment. And then you, you are just basically MIA and just self-sabotaging. You're only showing up because your name's on the event. Meanwhile, East has been doing the majority of the work at the last stretch while you were doing God knows what. So, ugh, man. And then they have that slow walk away. I hope this is not the last we see a condola of canola, okay? Condola, canola. Y'all are going in on these names, though, because <laughs> this is funny. Um, Let's get on to Tiffany. So, Tiffany and Derek are at the block party. You know, it's... Basically, Tiffany's first time outside since having the baby. She stopped breastfeeding. She's having a good time. She's enjoying it. You know, she's venting on how the baby's kind of making her kind of just annoyed. And, you know, when Derek gets a call from the babysitter, basically saying the baby's acting up, kind of colicky, she practically begs to stay. And he's like, okay, just catch a ride with Kelly. I feel like, and Kelly knows that too, um, Tiffany is going through postpartum depression or early postpartum depression because we see next week Kelly's with the baby and so you know I'm I'm glad they're highlighting a lot of stuff when it comes to women and female health I mean we had the episode last week where they highlighted the the fact that she had a blood clot after giving birth and basically how exhausted she was and you know this week we're seeing how you know, she just wants time and she needed the break, you know. New moms, literally, I watched my aunties go out. Like, I remember watching my aunties kids just to, for her to, like, go to the bathroom to have a moment, okay? And I do not blame her because them babies were crying, my goodness. But, yeah, I hope, you know, Kelly talks to her about that next week because that's very concerning. I don't want it to get to a point where she's, like, ready to walk out on you know, the kids, even though I don't think she will, I feel like it's going to get to that point if no one talks to her. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of all this. Issa and Molly. So, at the beginning of the episode, we see Issa um, basically waking up at 3 a.m. 
you know, anytime there's like a big thing going on that day, you wake up early, she gets a snack, she gets on Instagram and hits up Nathan, you know, no good Nathan. And basically he was the one on the phone at the beginning of the season, basically saying, I don't fuck with Molly anymore. And then we see Molly and Andrew at her apartment. She's not feeling, you know, up to going to the block party because her needs are only meshing. I mean, I understand you guys are going for some stuff, but this is your friend's event that she's been planning for damn near almost a year. And getting this block party together is a big deal. And you kind of left her high and dry when she was trying to figure out a situation. Like, you kind of expected it to fail. And Andrew's like, come on, just go ahead. It's your friend. Go support. And we get to the block party. Everything's, you know, going well. You know, it's early, so you must, you you see a lot of, you know, Caucasians. You know, black people, we kind of show up later. That's a true fact. That is me with Music Midtown. Let me tell you. You don't show up to the main stages when until the big ads come on, okay? Oh, man. This gave me so many flashbacks to when I went to festivals. I miss outside, guys. Like, I'm thinking about whether or not this festival is going to be canceled this year. It's in September, so I don't know. But we're seeing Issa. We're seeing everything's looking good. Food truck's great. You know, the outside, you know, sitting areas are really dope. I mean, hell, I wanted to go. <laughs> I felt like going. And, you know, Molly's, you know, kind of feeling some type of way to everything went kind of good. She expected it to fail. I'm like, why would you expect your best friend's you know, venture to fail? Like, that is not okay. Also, side note, Kelly brings her boo, right? <laughs> She's faking a whole British accent. I said, Kelly, stop. Ugh, y'all, I just saw that. Like, I wanted to go in and kill her, but I really just, I'm trying to get this video done. So... We get to um, the headliner. Sir is headlining. I'm like, yes, awesome. We got someone who is current. Get she's gonna get some streams after this after this episode. I'm like, all right, and everything's all to the good. And you know, basically Molly's like, okay, let me try to mend this stuff with my friend. And you know, Asa sent the olive brands, bring up some wings, and you know they're at the dance floor together, they're doing the wobble. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Have me get up from my bed and I'd be doing the wobble because I was watching it on the app. I was like, yes. Wow, they wow, they wow, they wow, wow, they wow, wow, they wow. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Oh, God, y'all. I miss outside. I really miss this episode, made me miss outside so much because. We were supposed to have Freaknik this weekend. No, next weekend. We were supposed to have Freaknik. Um, the second year in a row, Freaknik Part 2, and now it can't happen. I'm mad as hell. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm upset. I know it's a whole pandemic, but man, I'm missing the stuff. Like, the stuff that we had planned, we're starting to miss it. Like, the dates are just rolling by, and you're thinking, man, I, sh I should be at this thing right now. But my goodness. But it was a great event, and... You know, we see Nathan. He's like, hey, can I get the VIP? I'm like, sir, what you mean VIP? What you mean? And basically, sir, his manager gets off stage and, you know, basically thanks uh, Andrew for the hookup. And Molly's like, what the fuck? And basically, he's like, yeah, you know, Nathan hit me up. You know, Easy needs some help. So I got them in touch with each other. Molly basically blows a gasket and goes off on Issa. And people around them can hear them. I'm just like, Molly, this is not the time and place. I understand that you mad over the fact that basically she went behind your back in some sorts. But this is, for one, this was an unexpected turn in her event that she had to figure out, okay? Also, you did not ask Andrew. And, and living in LA, hell, living in any big city like a, like LA or New York or Atlanta even, you get by on who you know. You got to have connects. And Issa, you know, she used Nathan at that point, okay? She used her last ditch effort and got in touch with Andrew. And he was able to connect her with a headliner, okay? There was no grounds for it. And then a mess of your relationship? No. So basically, it just justifies what you said before was complete BS. And Issa went off, okay? I was happy about her going off. Connor basically miserable and literally just her just being so bitter all the time. And then Molly called Issa a bitch and she had her hand up to her. Like, I swear, 
I thought they're gonna write, gonna fight. Okay, I was literally like, it's about to be a what? Girl fight? Like I was, I was literally waiting for them to tussle. But then Molly did the stupid thing, got up in her face, literally had her hand like it was a gun, and someone's yelled "gun!" Literally, and everyone scatters. Everyone scatters, and you know it was the ne it was the near end, but still, everybody just leaves, and. You know, Issa is disappointed and upset. Molly's upset. I'm like, girl, you ruined the whole thing. Why are you upset for? And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Issa can't have one win. You basically ruined your whole, her whole event making it about you. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, honestly, I would be so upset. Like, I'll be mad as hell. And I hope someone checks Molly for basically ruining the whole event by acting up. Like, honestly. And then, um... You got the friends leaving them separately. Issa is, you know, staying behind to take care of stuff. And it immediately starts pouring rain. I'm just like, uh, why can't she have one win? Like, come on now. And that's the end of the episode. We didn't get Lawrence in this episode. We'll probably get him next week. Maybe him and Issa involuntarily meet up. Um, I'm still on my stance. I don't want them getting back together. However, I do think they're going to have you know, temporary XX. I already see that coming. If he pops up in next week's episode, I know they're gonna have involuntary XX. I already know. But I already know. But part of me is thinking that she's gonna confront Lawrence about the whole thing with Condola and she's gonna go off on him basically like, look, I might be feeling some type of way about you being a whole new person, but the fact that this got in the way of my business and you did not tell me I don't even probably want to talk to you. Okay, that's what I'm thinking Issa's going to do. That's what I'm thinking grown Issa's going to do. Um, yeah, it's a good episode. Um, congratulations on the show getting renewed for season five. I don't know when that's coming out. Please do not take another two-year hiatus. Even though with Verona going around, we don't know when TV's going to be back. But, yeah, we have five more episodes yet left. We're halfway through the season. And what do y'all think? You think Ma and Issa are going to make up before the end of the season or... You think Issa's going to have to take a break from Molly? Because the way I see it, I think Molly's going to come over and apologize. And Issa's not going to be, you know, susceptible to that. She's not going to immediately jump. Like, forgiveness, you got to work for that, okay? And I know everyone, you know, mo <laughs> we all dragged Molly yesterday. And now the Molly defenders are coming out after the, the hype and trying to defend her. Trying to make Issa look like the trash friend. <sighs> Y'all can debate about that in the comments if you want to, okay? Anyway, it's your girl. Peace out. More love. Um, definitely more stuff coming to the channel. I have a bunch of reviews that I'm going to put out tomorrow about some Netflix show. Joe's Netflix is putting out the content, y'all. Like, they they really pumping out this content right now during quarantine. Like, do y'all have a vault that you're just keeping this stuff for just occasions? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys feel about the episode. Um, peace out, my love. Stay safe. Bye.